This is podcast number 116, and uh, we're shooting this on a Saturday afternoon uh, after uh, after Turkey. Uh, yes, we are, mate. Joined by Pep. Uh, mate, what did you think of, uh, of Turkey and, uh, and Button recording another win? I finally got my tips right, Max. After tipping races all this time, finally got the top three right, <laughs> <Yay>. mate. <laughs> and, um, yeah, Button um, brought it home again for Braun, and uh, I, I called that, Max. Yeah, and, right. Uh, Stop rubbing it in, you prick. And Red Bull was up... <laughs> Up there as well, so you know the season is continuing as as it was, Max, with with Jensen really slapping Rubens all over the circuit, and uh, the Red Bulls getting the you know the best of the rest award. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, Rubens had uh, had an absolutely woeful start. Yeah. Uh, it's sort of hard to get any momentum going when your car's basically sitting there with everyone else whizzing around you. I felt sorry for Rubens. Um, but uh, another uh, choice soundbite by the uh, by the young fella at the end of the race saying. All of the uh, all of the trouble seems to happen on my side of the garage. Hearing me, Ross. Um, so I thought, oh, Rubens, just just keep your trap shut, mate, and uh, and, and get on with the driving. But uh, yeah, I thought it was interesting that Rubens is uh, yeah, yeah. Cut, casting conjecture again. He had that bad start, and then he was just smashing his way back through <laughs> through the field, mate. True Rubens style. <laughs> <laughs> Made a great win from uh, from Jensen Button, um, and uh, and as he said, great work from uh, from Red Bull. It's good to see Mike Webber get his third podium in five races. Just had to throw that in there. I'm sorry, and he's breached the uh, the gap to Seb uh, yeah, well, yes. Fettel by uh, by one and a half points. So it's starting to shape up uh, the top part of the grid. But uh, I'm sure I speak for a lot of you and uh, in saying that we'd like someone else to win a race now. It'd be good. Yes, mate, we would, and uh, I, I enjoyed. Turkey. I enjoyed watching the in-car footage. I think it was a great yeah. race. It could have had a bit more overtaking, Max, but yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a great race. And and now we're moving on to Silverstone, mate. Yes. yes. Yeah, one of our favourite tracks, yeah. uh, Silverstone. Uh, a, a great track to uh, to race on the uh, on the PS3 or the Xbox or whatever. I'm sure you'd all agree. Mm. Um, and for the first time, pretty much ever. We've got Jensen Button going to his home Grand Prix with a uh, with a very strong chance of uh, of winning it. So we could have had uh, a Lewis Hamilton win last year and a, and a Jensen Button win this year. You never know. Two Brits at their home Grand Prix. Max, I'm sure that Jensen isn't admitting it publicly, but he already must be thinking about the World Championship and about the fact that he, he he's looking very good to be World Champion this year. Mm. And if he win, wins in Silverstone, then uh, you know the, the talk about that's going to just go through the roof, mate. Yeah, I, look, I love sportsmen and, and what they carry on with. No, I'm not thinking of the grand final yet, or I'm not thinking of the uh, world championship yet, or I'm not thinking of the pennant yet. Well, you are, because you, 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 you're mentioning it now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, look, yeah, of course he is, and uh, and he has every right to start thinking about it. Uh, he hasn't really put a foot, thro- uh, foot wrong this year. That, uh, that Braun car is fantastic. But I, uh, I'd like to see Red Bull con- continue to take the fight to... Uh, uh, to the Brawns, but I'd also like to see some uh, some other teams start to hit their straps and um, and, and change the uh, the top three. Well, I couldn't agree more, mate, and I'm really hoping that that will happen in Silverstone. I really hope that those other teams will get up there. So we're going to do a video straight after this, Max, talking about this uh, all the news in the F1 this week, which has only been really one big story. So mm-hmm. that's coming next. All right, see you soon. See you guys. Bye. Bye.